Thomas the tank engine was ill. Workmen had tried to make him better, but it was no use. Edward must take you to the works, said Sir Topham Hatt. Thomas felt very miserable. Then Sir Topham Hatt spoke to Duck. I want you to help Percy and Toby while Thomas is away. Duck was delighted. He already knew Percy and soon made friends with Toby and Bertie. Terence the tractor gave him a big welcome too. Take care of Thomas's coaches, he advised. He's sure to miss them while he's away. Duck was very gentle with the coaches. Annie and Clarabelle were impressed. Such nice manners, they told each other. It really is a pleasure to go out with him. When Thomas came back, Annie and Clarabelle told him how well Duck had managed. Thomas was so pleased to be home that he soon forgot to be jealous. The works had left Thomas's hand brake very stiff. It made his brakes seem as if they were on, when in fact they were not. As a result, he and his coaches often overran the platform. Thomas found this most embarrassing. Gradually, his driver and fireman learned to be extra careful. But one day, Thomas's fireman was ill, and a relief man took his place. The fireman had fastened the coupling and joined the driver and station master on the platform to wait for Henry's passengers. The fireman had forgotten all about Thomas's handbrake. Thomas simmered happily. Not long now, he thought, as he saw Henry slowly approaching. But Thomas's brakes were not on. And suddenly, he felt his wheels begin to move. He tried to stop, but he couldn't, without his driver and fireman. He tried to whistle a warning, but he couldn't do that either. The conductor, driver, fireman, and passengers were all stranded on the platform. Stop! Stop! shrieked Annie and Clarabelle. But Thomas, with plenty of steam, kept on going. The alarm went down the line. Stop the runaway! There, ready for action, was Harold the helicopter. The inspector had made a plan, and together they took off into the sky. At last, Thomas was tiring. I need to stop! I need to stop! He panted wearily. As they neared the next station, Thomas saw Harold land. They entered the platform slowly enough for the inspector to act. Judging his moment, the inspector scrambled into the cab and screwed the brakes on. At last, Thomas stopped. Both he and the inspector were very relieved. Then they thanked Harold. Think nothing of it. Glad to be of service, any time. Thomas, remarked the inspector, we must never let this happen again. Wearily, Thomas agreed with him.